I am here today to sell you some bucking bulls, and I am a salesman for Muddy Water Bucking Bulls. Um, you gave me a call a couple weeks ago wanting to add to your uh, herd because you are getting some older bulls and they're not as seasoned as you prefer. Hey, I'm Wyatt Wagner. How you doing, Wyatt? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming today. Yeah. Well, uh, how's your rodeo season been going so far? Uh, it's been going pretty good, you know, just kind of starting out. But, uh, yeah, it's going not too bad. I've been staying healthy, and that's the main thing. Yeah. How many of you guys got planned for this summer? Uh, we're going about two a month. So, uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll be going oh, probably about ten of them by, by fall. Yeah, that's pretty good. Well, so you gave me a call the other day wanting to buy some more bucking bulls, and I figured that... I'd show you some of our numbers. Our animal record for one of our main breeding bulls that we breed to, mm -hmm. uh, you can just see here, like there's just some of his uh, genet genetics and stuff. And then here's his family tree, and you can see some of these names, they're pretty big. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them been in the NFR, PBR, stuff like that. Uh, this other bull here, that is one of our personal bulls that we own. He has been to the NFR twice and was pretty proud of that. Mm -hmm. uh, here's some of his record stuff and his averages and stuff like that. Wow, that's impressive. Yeah, some people, they, they come a far distance just to breed to him. Uh, here's some of our, some of our uh, bulls that are selling here. Uh, if you see any that you're real interested in, you can just tell me and then I could probably write it up for you. Mm -hmm. Uh, we also have a lot more bulls back at the house. If you want to see them buck, we can buck them out for you whenever you want to come out. Mm -hmm. okay. So, uh, all right. Well, let's see, you know, I've been doing this just for a couple of years, so I'm, I'm still learning a lot about the business. If you were in my position, what, what would be your first recommendation? Well, like you said the other day, you're, you're kind of getting some older bulls and you're wanting something with a little more fire, but it they're still calm when you're on the road. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, when we're breeding to all of our bulls, we want them to be kind of like, not tame, but easier to handle when you're in tighter positions and they keep weight when you're on the road. That's the main problem, is a lot of rodeo companies, their bulls get real skinny when they're traveling all the time and they're only home maybe once a month. So when we're breeding to a lot of bulls, we, we try to get that instinct in them so that they actually do keep weight on them. Mm -hmm and they don't get real skinny because then they don't buck well and then it's a waste of money. Mm -hmm. So uh, another thing is bulls that don't want to buck. When we breed these bulls, if they don't buck, we buck them out as yearlings. If they don't buck and meet our standards, we won't put them up for sale only because that's a bad rep for us. Mm -hmm. okay. So, yeah. So if they don't, if they're not good within the first year, then kind of give up on them yeah. at that point. If they don't meet our personal standard by the time that they're two, they mostly go to the locker. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Um, I tell you what, I really like the looks of that. What, uh, how, what's the age on that one? Uh, he is four years old. Uh, we raised him and when he was two, we used him as a futurity bull mm -hmm. and we made quite a bit of money off him. Right here's a picture of him bucking at the house. Mm -hmm. So you can see he gets pretty vertical there. Uh, cowboys like to get on him only because he, he's not easy to ride, but he's rideable and he pulls big scores. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what's the, what, what, do they, are they all about the same as far as what can you expect? Uh, how long of a period of time can you expect that they're pretty usable? Uh, well, we don't like to put riders on our bulls until they're at least three, but if they're two and really big, we'll do it and then they'll buck probably up through eight or nine. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep, and that's, mine are about seven, eight years old, so. Okay, so you got <coughs> about five or six years. Yep. Okay. Um, let's see, here. And so what's the, what's the pedigree on him? Uh, his father is our personal breeding bull, 82 Pud. He was the uh, uh, Great Lakes Circuit Futurity Bucking Bull of the Year when he was a two-year-old. And many people gave me offers on him and I just, they were really low at the time. 
and now that he's actually had a few riders on him, people really like him now. Mm -hmm. And they gave me a few offers on him, and I've thought about it. Well, by the time I got back to him, it was too late, and they were interested in some others, and I was like, okay, I guess. But mm -hmm. okay, all right. Well, I tell you what, I would be—that's uh, the one I'm most interested in uh, taking a look at. I'd like to come out and and see him sometime. And uh, what 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 are we talking about price-wise? Um, well, we start all of our bulls out at different prices only because different ages and stuff. Mm -hmm. So at his age and where he's been and his qualifications and breeding, I would have to say starting out, he'd be worth about 20,000. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. And what kind of, is there any kind of, uh, you know, guarantee with him? I mean, let's say I try him out and for two months, it's just, you know, he's just not doing what I expected of him. Yeah, we have a warranty deal that, uh, we will ship the bull to you, and you can take him to rodeos, buckouts, futurities, whatever you want, and you can have him for 60 days, and if you don't like the way he's bucking or he's not keeping weight the way you want, you can bring him back, and we will give you all of your money back, and we'll pay for all the feed that you put in and stuff like that. Okay. Okay. Well, could we set up a time where I could come out and take a look and maybe look at his paperwork and everything? And Yeah. Uh, I have my card right here. You can give okay. me a call. Okay. Sounds good. Yep. Well, thank you for your time. All right. Thank you.